Hi everyone and welcome back to another BTLO replay. Be sure to follow us on X, link in, or join the Discord server to keep in touch with the BTLO community. Links are in the description box below. For this episode, we are going to solve a lab named Exposed. So we are going to use a Git tools and Nuclei for, uh, to answer all these questions. So this is a uh, short lab since the difficulty is easy. And we are going to play around the Linux box we have. And yeah, the scenario is about a skills assessment from a hiring manager. You are tasked to solve the following tasks as part of your technical interview. So we have a website, website A and website B. So yeah, I think we are ready. So we are in the Linux box. So we have the Git tools here, Git dumper and nuclei. Okay. So the first question is use Git tools. Well, where is the Git directory located in website A? Okay. So Git tools. I think. Um, Terminal here, okay. Run the home Ubuntu desktop and so where is the Git directory located in website A? Okay, so we have the details of the web both of the website. We have http not wp.sbt and website B is wp.sbt right so to answer question number one we are going to use a tool named dumper so dumper has git dumper that sh so before we can execute that um bash bash script we can you uh let's add a executable permission to that dumper git dumper okay and then we will try to identify if the git dumper will work. So git tools, dumper, git dumper. And the first website is http not t. Okay. So we are tasked to identify where is the git directory located in website A. So this it uses this um, link. So we are tasked to identify where is the Git directory located in website A. So basically, if this work means this, the, the answer for question number one is this one. So let's use that HTTP target that T That again um http not that sbt and the desk there git is missing okay let's have double if this work it means the git is located in this directory All right that works so the answer for this one is git or it. Perfect. So why is it? Because it just wants the path. So we can guess it's probably this is just the normal directory for most um, places. Um, it's a default for Apache servers. Okay, let's proceed with question number two. Since we have tested that the git dumper works so we this can be used so let's say ls dash la s there okay we have the git here so it means it successfully dump it yep we have so our next question is to identify the password spring boot password okay 
So what we'll do next is we're going to run again the git dumper this that's sh but this one we're going to save it into the desk there i mean yeah i think we already then we will use the extractor yep extractor so before we can use that that's Let's uh, add execution privilege, git tools, extractor, extractor, that's it. Okay, so we're going to use the git tools, extractor, extractor, that's sh, and the test there. Okay, and I think we need to track it. Data. Okay. Cool. We have identified. We have uh, have series of outputs here. So if we see the desktop, if we list all the temp data. We will, okay, let's try zero. Okay, we have ls temp data two. Okay. And uh, ls temp data one. Perfect. So each results, each directory has this source directory. So from 0, 1, and 2, they have all the source directory. So we are tasked to identify what is the Spring Boot password. So let's try to identify. Let's see. 0. And source. LS. And main. Resources. Application properties. For this one, I think we need to, um, this is a text file, I guess. So cat, okay, sorry. Cat application properties. So what we have here is the password. No pass, copy, password, perfect. So question number three. So website B is using WordPress. Which nuclei template is useful in detecting exposed Git directory? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, for this one we have to we have another tool named nuclei. CD sorry, CD desktop ls CD nuclei. We have the nuclear template and we use find name since we are our task to identify the useful in template is which nuclear template is useful is that thing exposed git directory okay so we have to filter since we are looking for wordpress Use the uh, what do you call this one? Wildcard. Okay, let's use wildcard for both. We are tasked to identify which template is useful for detecting exposed Git directory. Mm -hmm. So, this one, I think, vulnerabilities WordPress Git config that yaml file yep yeah expose git right i think this is our answer perfect so let's uh, proceed to the question number four where is the git directory located in website b since we are used this is a um we are using a nuclei uh 
and also this nuclei has the template of WordPress git config.yaml. I think we can use it to identify where is the git directory located in website B. Okay. I think we need to go back here. L apply this one. Right? So that's U. Okay, this. How to use this one? U is a target string. Host to okay. Let's clear this up. So the website B is you http hmm. okay i think um this one we are tasked to identify the git directory wordpress git config mm-hmm I think this one is our answer. Content. Okay. Wow. Okay. The Git. Perfect. Right. Down to last two questions. So the question number five, one, two, three, four, five. Commit messages can be interesting sometimes as an attacker. What's here? Okay. We are tasked to identify the access token. So for this one, I think we already have the um, content location of the Git. So the next step we are going to do is to use the Git dumper. Yes. Git dumper. Git number, right? So WordPress, WordPress, SBT, and um, yes, we need to add here the location of the Git. This themes and that Git. And we'll use this not. Uh, web B. Okay. Get. We have successfully extracted all the files by the get location. So commit messages can be interesting sometimes as an attacker. Okay. So what we'll do next, since we have already um, dump the let's confirm web yes uh, contains a hidden file git for sure mm -hmm. okay that's that la so, ls that la web that git okay that Git perfect. So commit edit message. Okay, so cat web git that git mit intern again. Okay, not the answer. Let's look for another one. So for this to answer, we have uh, resorted to look for uh, what's inside the git directory so we are interested in the access token here and also the sensitive file that's, that's been mistakenly committed so for question number five is we are tasked to identify the access token so in the logs logs refs head master we have um we have the history of uh, the commits that's been performed in the website so we are tasked to identify the access token. I mean, yep, I think we have found the access token here. Commit, 
perfect. So question number six, this is uh, some sensitive file seems to be mistakenly committed. What is it? How about we use that? That it log. That. Okay. We can see here the list of files modified in each commit along with some statistics. Hmm, let's look for files with sensitive. Okay. Version Zendesk home.php. Okay. Common files. Dev only. IDRSA. Got that one. Yeah, perfect. So what we did is since this one is not that um, this is just the, the basic message of the commits. But if we use git log stats, it will give us the like, a list of files modified in each commit. So this is a really interesting um, command, like git command, if you want to identify what files are modified when the uh, developer like push something to the production. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. In the meantime, remember to join us on Discord and tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. UTC for BTLO replay. Thanks everyone and see you next time.